Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. APC workers turns against the party, threatens protests over economic hardship. 35,000 Naira wage award, not enough. You are wicked. We cannot accept this. You earn more than 35,000 Naira. Is it enough for your drinks? Do something now or we will let it all out. So my lovely, wonderful people, this is what is happening. APC workers are right on the mark and they are ready to take the bull by the horn saying enough is enough. Mm -hmm. They will not continue to allow this to go on. No, not anymore. As we speak at the moment, you can see that APC workers are ready right now and they have said, you know, every one of them, every single person will be ready. Every one of them will be ready to ensure that the right things are done. As you know, Nigerians, everyone is wondering, you know, what, you, you know, what to do. Even the NLC are rising up to say enough is enough. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Staff employed by the ruling of Progressive Congress APC across the different departments at its national secretariat in Abuja have threatened to protest following the country current economic hardship. We cannot continue to endure when you have more than enough to spray around, yet we can barely feed. A few days after President Bola Metinubu came in as Nigerian's president, he removed well subsidy and today people can barely feed. We are tired of managing and trying to put ends together when our families cannot even afford basic necessities. The workers are complaining bitterly about their welfare under the leadership of the All Progressive Congress National Chairman, Abdurrahim Ganduje, who even barely pays their salary on time. The workers are specifically asking the party's top hierarchy to make provision for their housing and other allowance, stressing that the economic situation of the country is not favorable to them. One of them who pleaded anonymity daily, daily told Daily Trust that the party exclusive members have left them to suffer while they took numerous, uh, numerous amounts of money as salaries and allowance. They barely paid them even the 35,000 naira that has been proposed and told them. He said, though the party led by Ganduje commenced payment of 35,000 naira provisional wages award to them in 2024, it would it, which we end in June. Hence, their demand for stable economic package. Reacting, the APC National Publicity Secretary Barrister Felix Moko said, those matters, I don't really discuss them. As you can see, there are many important things to discuss at the national level. In Edo State, we are battling with all that, how many candidates are rising as candidates. And so there are a lot of issues to be looked at. I am not the one responsible for worker salaries. And I, I know the chairman, we do the best for the people. However, the people are complaining of not being looked after. We will get to that. The party at the national level will look into this area and order if if need be but for now they have been given some soft pedal to ensure that they are able to manage with the economic challenges which will end in june so my lovely people it is very very important that everybody understands this okay the issue has become so clear so clear okay the issue has become so clear everybody's wondering how we got here in the very first place because people who you never thought about are the ones now you know leading and taking charge and everybody's just wondering when where did we go wrong who did we offend the economic challenges and all that is going on is beyond words can describe nigerians are currently going through a lot and what do we see we see more and more people who have no clear cut you know, um, you know, demand and truth to change the course of the nation. They are the ones who are deciding, you know, what, what will go on next, you see. So workers who are working with APC cannot even, cannot even feed. Workers who are working with APC cannot even feed. So you see, it is very terrible, 
Okay, it is very terrible. Even workers working in APC are barely getting by. So how do we sort all of this out? How do we sort all of this out? You know, so it is, it is a very, very serious one. Okay, and we will make sure that things are done decently and in order and we do not leave ourselves to chance. These are very, very important aspects and things that are going on and everybody's watch, work, watching and working to ensure that, you know, we do not allow the same thing over and over again. The issue here is that Nigerians are watching, Nigerians know, and we want the truth to be manifested. So nobody, I repeat, nobody, you know, should, should leave things to chance and say, oh, all is well. Sweetheart, all is not well as we speak at the moment. I don't know how, how you know, our politicians can close their eyes and sleep at night with all they are doing, with all they are doing, okay? And, you know, they, they come in, promise, you know, promise people that, you know, we're going to, we're going to sort out the economy, there'll be more infrastructure, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. But guess what? Hey, they do none of that. None of that whatsoever. You know, they allow people, you know, you know, they allow people to suffer. They allow people to suffer, you know. So it is, it is, it is very, very, it is, it is stressful what is going on right now. Very stressful. We cannot even begin to imagine it. How terrible things currently are. It is better that we do not allow, you know, the current economic challenges and what is going on to be cloud our judgment and allow ourselves, okay, to be deceived. Okay, to be deceived on, you know, or, or, or whatever it is. We must do everything, humanly speaking, possible to make sure that Nigeria do not remain in the same way and in the same vein and that things changes. Every single one of us must do everything, humanly speaking, possible to ensure that Nigeria becomes a better place for every single person. The days upon us are so important. You know, politicians who come in saying they are, you know, they are supporting the people are doing everything humanly speaking possible to ensure that you know they, they destroy the nation, they destroy the people, and it is it is it is one hell of you know of, of unbelievable you know threats going on. Okay, it is so my people, let's let's rise up, let's ensure that we do the right thing and save this nation from the current impending danger from politicians who are in us. Leave us a comment, don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.